versus a bad guy, and, and where would you put uh, Dark Phoenix on that scale? Well, it's a really good question, because part of what appealed to me, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm really focused on this movie um, in terms of Brian. Um, we did make a lot of movies together, and I think he's a creative genius. Um, and what happens in Brian's personal life um, wasn't my business and wasn't really something that I know, knew about um, or know about. Uh, but he is somebody who's, who's genius for filmmaking. Um, I watched up close uh, and was always pretty astounded by. Do you feel like he's been treated fairly sort of since that article came it's not out? A, it's not up to me to judge sure if, he was, enough, if he was treated fairly. Um, I don't know uh, the facts of his life. I don't know the facts. Um, and so uh, I don't know. I mean, what I will say, separate from that story, is that we live in a different culture now for the best, and we live in an accountability culture. Um, the Me Too movement is more than a moment, it's a real movement, um, and I think that's a great thing for culture and society and for different survivors of all kinds of different things. Um, and so I'm a huge supporter of the way that the world has turned. Um, in terms of Brian, specific, specific to Brian, I just don't know enough about the facts to speak on them, and I feel like, unless or until I do, it would be silly for me to say anything. Okay, one more to your right. One more to your left one. Okay, last one.